guys welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to show you my routine for removing my makeup it's the end of the weekday it's 5 no well it's 6.03 in Trans Tobago and it's time for me to get this makeup off my skin now we're going to go through the routine everything I use or the products I use to remove the makeup and yeah so let's just get straight into this video now the first thing I do when removing my makeup I use my Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes now this has worked really well for me it's um, a new product that I use before I used to just wash the makeup of my face but then I have found that it leaves the darkness so you see how I highlighted under my eyes with um, dark with my pencil um, getting that off is difficult so I'm going to use one of the toilets towelettes and use it so I wipe it. Sometimes also circular, circular motion it doesn't really matter. To start the first step of removing the makeup. So yeah. So we're just gonna remove it, and I try to wipe under my eyes as gentle as possible, so that um yeah, because I notice that once you rough up under it, you get bags and wrinkles and stuff. So I try not to do that. So I use one of my first towelettes to, to really get all of the makeup off, all the lipstick, everything. Oh, my nose ring just popped right out my nose. Because I don't really use that backing, I just stick it in there. Alright, so we kind of try to get all of it because I put it all on my neck. So you see, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I know they say you could use one or one to do the entire job, but for me, sometimes I want to see it has moved like a significant portion, and I can't tell with just one towelette it because it's so dirty up already. So, I'm going to use the next side and continue wiping. So I'm going to use a second towelette. I usually use one, but sometimes I use two just to be sure that I've gotten the makeup off, especially under the eyes. You see that part there that stains under my eyes and have it looking really dark. Look, see, I'm still taking it off, it's still coming off. eyelash glue everything I know you're hearing that hush up saying that see I like that shit so sad I always cry when I watch it during <laughs> right. um, it's just uh, see look and one towelette and this is the second one and I'm still removing product from my skin so I see the importance of using the second one just to be sure you've get not the significant amount of your face even though they say washing it may get all off no that's not true I'm passing it again and then I'm gonna go to the sink to try and get it off so the second product I usually use would be my Biore face wash so here we're going into it and now I'm going to use my Biore charcoal face wash I love this thing I swear by it because you see I don't really have any pimples or anything and this is a product I swear by and I also use as my facial scrub trusty old baking soda <laughs> yes I just put a little bit of baking soda in my hand make a little piece and I use that as a facial scrub it has worked well for me and keeping my skin clear you see I don't really have any marks or anything on my skin and it helps to prevent because wearing makeup you tend to get whiteheads on your nose and in this area here of your chin and I find with using the baking soda just mixing um, a little piece like something so it's not too harsh and scrubbing it on your skin at least that works for me and I use, use it here 
and on my nose and to scrub and even on my entire face because sometimes you'll find you get the white heads even here now for those who can't use bacon so that I, I also use brown sugar so I can either mix it with um, coconut oil so I mix the coconut oil with a little bit of brown sugar and I exfoliate my skin with that and it helps remove the extra whiteheads that's if the whiteheads are really really bad but I don't really have any because I exfoliate my skin quite often and I don't really have it I used to have it there like yeah that used to be real dry so now it's not there and I'm glad about that so we're going to use these two so face is washed and now I am going to tone my skin and I'm going to use my cotton pads and I'm going to use my witch hazel and this witch hazel is Humphrey's witch hazel astringent so I use this after washing my face And then I go in with my Neutrogena and this is the Hydro Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. I really like how this has my skin looking. It has it looking so plumpy and nice. So this is how I usually do and then I just rub it into the skin. And then allow it to dry down and dry into the skin. Yeah. Right. And finally, I go in with my virgin coconut oil. And for me, this has been a game changer for my skin. Even though I have a combination of oily to dry, I find this works so well in keeping my skin, giving it this youthful glow. And really helped with the dark circles that I had under my eyes previously and um, it's kind of going away slowly but surely but yes and this is how I kind of put it into the skin kind of but put it into the skin to the corner of the nose under the eye Press, 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 press. Start your mouth and the lips. It's important to keep your lips moisturized, especially when you use a lot of matte lipsticks that dry out the lips. Right. And that's it. And that's my skin routine for removing my makeup. So give my skin back the boost it needs with the hyaluronic acid and the coconut oil and yeah <laughs> so thank you for joining me and if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section if you have a routine that works well for you and you want to give us a, a little insight into it you can also leave it in the comment section as well um, and I could always take a look and try it out and see how it works so thank you guys continue to like subscribe share um, my videos with your friends and your family and um, stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be a makeup video. And I'm going to do something really nice for you guys in my next video. So thank you. Bye.